12 MP sensor the equal of iPhone 6s. Heavy focus on realism and snaps. Picture quality seems a little muted at times. Smaller and less sharp screen not as useful as a viewfinder. The 12 MP camera on the iPhone SE is a marked upgrade from that in the 5S or 5 in a number of ways, not just the boost in megapixels. It's imbued with all manner of fancy technology that you just wouldn't have found on the earlier models, and, in fact, is another perfect example of Apple giving iPhone SE users the same toys as found on the larger 6S. iPhone SE Review Fiercely, the 12 MP sensor comes with focus pixels, which are a secondary layer within the camera that works out what the phone is being pointed at and sharpens things up rather quickly. It's not the best in the industry but it's more than quick enough and if you've got a millisecond to hold the camera steady you'll generally get a sharp snap each time. Live Photos is added into the mix too, and while we were skeptical when we first saw the feature on the 6S, we can't deny that it does enhance some snaps, there's a surprise foam party that wouldn't have been the same without the feature. It's also the sapphire covering on the camera that's a decent upgrade too. So many pictures on older phones are now fuzzy and seemingly covered in a smeared layer, such are the micro-scratches that festoon the cover. By making this stronger Apple has removed one of the big issues that can plague the iPhone SE in its later life, and I love that it's now flush with the chassis thanks to being a little thicker. It's hard to say why, but the clean lines on the back are so much more pleasant. Settings-wise, the iPhone sticks to simplicity, keeping only the options you want front and center. That means you can toggle on HDR or live photos, toggle the timer or flash and add an effect. Square mode remains for easier Instagram pics, and the video and slow-mo modes are within an easy swipe. When using the camera there's only so much you can change when you're snapping, there's no professional setting to play with. When tapping the screen to focus a simple slide up or down with your finger will alter the exposure, but if you're looking to change color temperature or aperture speed, you'll need to install a specific app.